So I created a video a while back on how to get information out of Facebook using a tool called FacePager. Uh, FacePager hasn't been updated in a while and people are finding it difficult to use uh, but a lot of people just want to grab comments that are on uh, a Facebook post and there's a quite an easy way to do that so that way you don't have to use FacePager. Um, so I thought I'd just go through that. Um, I'm going to get the comments on this uh, XFM post. Uh, it was about uh, a new DJ that they're hiring, and the comments were scathing. They, you know, this, this is not a popular DJ in the UK. Um, he's very unpopular, and I wanted to analyse these. So, uh, what I'm going to use to do this is a thing called the Facebook Graph Explorer. So, if you just ter search for that um, in Google, uh, it didn't seem to come up. But if you click the first, the hit which is tilt and support you want the graph API Explorer uh, so you should get here uh, and then what you need to do to get all the comments on our post is write the name of the post ID here so I've just deleted the text that was there so you want the name of the post ID followed by slash comments so what we need to do is get the post ID now the post ID can be found uh, simply by clicking this here, the date, and then uh, here in the URL you'll get the post ID. So if you copy that uh, and paste it here, it won't actually work, but I'm going to press submit to show you anyway, because this is what used to happen. I used to do this and it used to work, but it says here that Singular Links API doesn't work anymore, blah de blah what you need to do to get it to work um, is put an underscore before this ID and put the ID of the page that's done the post before it so we want the ID of the XFM uh, XFM radio um, page so what you can do is you can view the source of this page tools view source and scroll through it and somewhere there will be an ID uh, but the easiest thing to do is just Google find Facebook page ID <laughs> find my Facebook ID this this basically just goes through the source of the page the HTML source looks for the the ID uh, and gives it you so it's just because some people might not be familiar with um, HTML and JavaScript and whatever so now you paste that in there um, so you have here if you can see you've got the ID of the page and then underscore and then ID of the post and then slash comments and if you click submit you get a bunch of comment comments now this is only 10 comments here uh, that'll be fine for me for now so I'm just going to select that but what you can do is you can pick more comments uh, oh, I should have copied that I didn't. So let me just copy this for now. Uh, but you can. So oh no, so it's more than ten. I'll find out how many in a minute. But you can um, increase the limit by clicking in here, clicking limit. Oh yes, yeah, so it is ten, uh, and just increasing it to whatever you want. So you could put three hundred, and it would get three hundred comments back for you. So now you've got this JSON, you probably want to put it in a format like CSV or something. Um, the way I do it is to use a tool called Opal Ref Open Refine. If you just Google Open Refine uh, and download it for your operating system, when you run it, it will run in a browser like so. So this is Open Refine, uh, and on the Graph Explorer, I've got this JSON, which is all the results from the query that I did so I paste, pasted those results into a text editor you might want to check for things like quotes in the um, so things like quotes in the message might mess this up you might want to check with a JSON validator check it's all okay but once you've done that you can just save this as uh, god it's going very slow but you need to save it as I've just saved it as facebook.json on my desktop 
and then in Google Refine oh god come on yeah there we go just browse to that file you've just created facebook.json there we go and it'll work out the type of data you have and it'll ask you to pick the first record so each of these is a record so you want the selection to select it all and it will create what you probably recognize looks kind of like a spreadsheet doesn't it with the um, these are all the comments these are when they were comment was created that's the person the name of the person who did the who made the comment you might want the ID of the person in case you're doing any more queries with Google I mean with Facebook API graph so just click create project and then if you want it in CV you can export it uh, in CSV you can export it as CSV and there's Excel as well and all that kind of thing so it's quite easy to get all the comments if you want more than 10 just change the limit uh, and that's it